Anyway, let's talk about the final. So it's Liverpool versus Chelsea. How does it go, guys? Uh, looking at the game, I think it's still 60-40 in favor of Liverpool. Mm-hmm. As much as they have the injuries, you like you said earlier, they have been able to manage being in the in the title uh, conversation since the start of the season. That's why I'm giving them an, an advantage in this game. And looking at how they are going to go up against the um, uh, Chelsea um, I I think it will be the best the best kind of uh, send off for Klopp given the fact that it is last season and looking at Chelsea the best games have been against Villa and City the rest of the games and Arsenal been, and Arsenal as well mm. the rest of the games for 60 minutes though are very yes good. and Liverpool in the first leg yeah, but they've been kind of shaking the rest of the, in the rest of the games. So that's why I think I think Liverpool will be really uh, looking forward to win this game because it will be it will be a message to the other teams as well. Because if you win this, it will be a momentum for you in in the other competitions. That's why I'm going with them. Well, well, for me, I, I'm not going to change my stance. I'm going with Chelsea hmm. <laughs> to to win this cup. Number one is because I I think that. The times that they've gone ahead to win titles, they've been working under in, in chaotic situations, in the chaotic circumstances. And for this time round, they've found some groove coming in. I know you might not buy that they beat Aston Villa in the FA Cup and they beat Crystal Palace and they had a very decent draw against Manchester City. But these are showing some green shoots of this team this season, the way they have tried to come up. It's a green shoot, as Mauricio Pochettino is painting it to be. And also the fact that finally... You can see Raheem Sterling coming up. And with him, with Nicholas Jackson, they're playing like a good unit. Hey, and Nicole. the midfield that we had questions about, mm-hmm. Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez, they're finally working in tandem. We saw that defense against Manchester City, they're working so well. If you're going to give me Conor Bradley on one side and give me, uh, you give me Raheem Sterling on the other, <laughs> I'm definitely taking Raheem Sterling in this. I just don't think the atmosphere is going to be as huge. They're not playing at Anfield. It's Wembley. One. Um, yes, Chelsea tend to win trophies in when they look chaotic. In stable. And unstable. Yeah. But they're playing quality. The playing squad in all those times was inherently of a much, much higher quality than what you have now. I know you are referring to the Champions League in 2012. Yes. But my friend, mm-hmm. Juan Mata, Didi I, Drogba, yeah. Peter Cech, John Terry, uh, Ramirez, Frank Lampard, yeah. John Obinikel. Uh, let's 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 sort of put that into context. Okay. Secondly, the, the context. even even in the 2021 uh, the Champions, Champions League, League. Yeah. Uh, my friend, they had N'Golo Kant, man. They had N'Golo Kant. N'Golo Kant was man of the match in the semi and the final. Yeah, even the competitor. If I remember correctly. Yes. Um, they, they, I know they have Caicedo and Enzo and they are both a hundred million, but I think anyone, anyone and their dog would swap them for Golo Kante in a heartbeat. Like if you are told, <laughs> hey, you would take, you'd be like, please give me Golo Kante again at 27. <laughs> we go. So that's one. Number okay. two. Yes, they have, they have, they are, they've played themselves into a run of form. Like they've, 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 they've looked decent in recent weeks and that, that's solid. Yeah. And Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez look very good versus City. They look good versus City. But you know why? City like the ball. Their strength is when they don't have the ball. Okay. Caicedo was magnificent in that game. He kicked everyone that was moving. He, yeah. he tackled everything. When they have the ball. Now, the only catch is this. Liverpool under Klopp, do they ever have the ball? They don't. In this matchup, you'd say that they will. No, they never have the ball. No, I'm, I've just said, this one is the one I've told you. Please go through the nine years of his They don't like the ball. Yes. Liverpool go at you. Liverpool are direct and fast. So this space for you to block, block, block at times is not there. Yeah. So I think that sort of negates that the, the, a bit. Not completely, but a bit. Okay. However, Chelsea's best games have come against the bigger sides. Yes. And today is a big side. Yes. So, and I feel like Pochettino has worked better this season when he's countering you than when he's setting the agenda. Because the same Chelsea that drew with City is the same Chelsea that lost 4-1 to my mighty wolves. 
<laughs> Z41. Or it was what? Or 3141, whatever score it was. Yeah, it was a 4-1 or 4-2. Yeah, it was like 4-1. It's <laughs> yes. the same team. Yes. So be- that, and that is the reason. They play a lot of Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing. Today they are great, tomorrow they are terrible. Yeah. You're never sure what you're going to see. Mm-hmm. But they've played well versus the bigger sides. Of course, there are questions about Liverpool. Are they fit enough? Are they? G- I, I'm not sure they're fit enough. I'm not sure they... they the key thing is, does Salah play? Does Soboslai play? Does Darwin Nunez play? My hunch says two of those will play. Okay. They are both. They are all listed as questionable. Mm-hmm. My hunch says they will all play. At least two of the three play. If two of the three play, I think Liverpool have have just about the edge. It's not by much. It's not. It's not by much. No. The only thing that other that might play a role in it, and you helped me with this with the with the Afcon when you told me. The Ivory Coast lost to Nigeria in the group stages. Are they going to lose twice in two weeks? No. Now, the same thing. And, and, and Liverpool played Chelsea and they destroyed Chelsea. Like, it was mm, not even funny. Yeah. yeah. So, will Chelsea have learned lessons from that? I think that makes the game closer. Yeah. So, he said 60-40. Yeah. I am more in the 51-49. To Liverpool. Yes. It's so close. Like, yeah. it could go either way. It's, 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 it's not the ones of where you are sure of... Uh, you're like, ah, no, this is... No. Just because of that forward. It was forward. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fairly recently, yes. maybe a few yes. weeks ago. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That makes me worry. So I wonder whether because I'm like Pochettino will 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 not want to get destroyed again that way. Yes. So he might. However, and he's lost to club before in a final. He's never then. won a fine. He's never won a trophy. Has he ever won a trophy? No. No, he won one. He must have. Did he win? Yes, in, did he win in, league in, in, in England? No. Yeah, he won league. Yeah, he must have PSG won the league has, at PSG because yeah, yeah, everyone the wins the league at PSG. Yes, That's why it doesn't count. Yes, but yeah. in England he hasn't won yet. And he lost one final to Klopp in the Champions League when he was at Spurs. Yeah, I remember. The, I remember. The one for Sadio Mane. And the, yes, the, yes. The, 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 the penal, the pe- yeah, the, there was a penalty early on. The yes, Mohamed Salah, Salah yeah. scoring that, that then, goal. But then when you look at how, what Luton did in that game against Liverpool just days ago, how they overran them in that first half. And then you look at Chelsea. Okay, maybe you, you might have a different look of Conor Gallagher, but he's been looking quite No, he's decent. been very decent. He's yes. been very, very decent. However, the Chelsea cannot replicate what Luton do because Chelsea don't have the tools to do what Luton do. Chelsea don't have the tools to run and be direct as Luton do. They don't. They, they don't. They, don't you they, bet that Carlton Palmer can do the same? They, no, no, do they, the same. no, no, because Luton are set up in a way that they are big, physical, in your face, they get into you. The Chelsea team will still want to pass, pass the, ball the ball around. Ball. They cannot do it. Not many teams can. I told you, Luton can only be done by Luton, Everton. They, 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 those are brothers in that mm-hmm. kind of football. Mm-hmm. Luton, Everton, uh, Palace under Roy Hodgson would do it. Where a team just goes at you direct. They, we, they have no time for... And West Ham. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yes, of course, and West Ham. <laughs> they yes. go at you. They, yeah. they, that thing is not for everyone. Because you need to be very selfless and you need to run like mad. And, and that, that as good as Palma is, as good as Sterling is, they are not going to... And the movement of they Nicholas are not, Jackson. They are not going to keep running to the wing and swinging in crosses and hoping someone b- b- <laughs> dies with you in it. So I would remove the loot on bit. Mm-hmm. If I was you, I'd borrow more from the Liverpool, the way they played versus Liverpool, the way they, in the, in the in first, the first leg, leg, the yeah. way they played versus City, the way they played versus Arsenal in the first leg. Yeah. Like they seem to find a way versus the so-called bigger sides because Chelsea this season is not a big side. Yeah. yeah. They seem to find a way to counter it. That's why I said they're very good when they counter you mm. rather than when they set the agenda. Yeah. And today, I feel like Liverpool might have a bit more of the agenda yes. than they do. However, Liverpool, even at their best, don't like setting the agenda. Liverpool, even at their best, they press you, they get the ball, the quickest oh, way to goal. Yeah. But yes. I, that, if, defense, that defense by Chelsea looked quite strong now. 51-49. Okay, co- uh, that's why I say close. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, saying it's so yeah, so close. Yeah, and the and the recent finals in the cup games they have gone on to penalties. So there's a feeling of tightness that we could see in this game. But I just see Chelsea just finding a way. 